Since we talked about two force members, it's only right to talk about three force members. And what three force members are is basically any part or a free body diagram that consists of only three forces. So it can be in any arbitrary shape, but for simplicity, I'm just going to use a bar. So let's say we have a bar. And there's only two different scenarios for this bar to be in equilibrium when there's three forces acting upon it. So let's take uh, two forces. So let's say there's a force going in this direction here, and then there's a force going in this direction here. So if that force is being applied there and there, there has to be a, a point where they interact so they, there's no moment being caused about this bar. So what we can do is extend this line of action just extend these line of actions going all the way over there and then also for this something like that so what we can do there's some point arbitrarily over here we'll call that point A and if we take a moment about point A it would actually be zero so what that means uh, this this bar although it's not in equilibrium um, because the forces are actually pointing upward there is some um, there be translational movement um, although it's not equal in equilibrium there's actually no tendency for this object to rotate now if we include a third force and for this body to be in equilibrium it has to be pointed in the opposite direction of these two so a third force but what's important about this this third force has to actually Go, its line of action has to go through this point A because if it didn't then it would, it would cause a moment for this body and will cause it to rotate and for it to be in equilibrium there has to be no rotation tendency at all. So since these forces um, are going in this direction and this direction it, that will cause translation but this third force theoretically speaking is its magnitude and direction will cancel out any translation being caused by force 1 and force 2. So another scenario for three force members is actually when the forces are parallel. So we could say there's a force being applied here, so force 1 and force 2 that's being perpendicular to the bar and what would happen here is actually the moments will cancel assuming these are like in the same distance away from each other from the center of rotation or if their their magnitude and distance somehow cancel out each other so that the moment about this bar or, or about this point equals zero so this force would cause it to rotate that way this force would cause it to rotate that way and when we calculate the moments of each individual force they just are equal in magnitude but in opposite um, direction in terms of rotation so that uh, this is in equilibrium in terms of moments however it will translate still because there's a force going upward and there's a force going upward over here so that means there has to be a third additional force that prevents this rod to move upward so it could be somewhere around here uh, this force number three so what that would mean that this force this third force has to equal the magnitude of these two forces that are pointing upward so we sh we're saying that the force three the magnitude of force three has to equal in magnitude of force one and force two to prevent translation so now this prevents so for this to happen uh, for this three force member to occur the forces have to be parallel so just be careful when you look at three force members um, there is, it is possible to have a, a, a member or a body that has three forces on it however it can still not be in equilibrium you gotta check if the forces are, are creating an equilibrium scenario such that, such that the forces are concurrent that's what this is called right here the forces are concurrent and uh, there is no translation and no moment because this force, the forces uh, about this point or this moment about this point causes no ra rotation for this body or there's no translation because the forces are acting in opposite directions that cancel, the leech, cancel out each other. And the same thing goes for this uh, when the forces are parallel. So 
um, there's two different scenarios just make sure uh, to double check that these two things are occurring uh, make sure there's no translation and there's no rotation for the body and if there's only three forces acting on the body then it has potential to be a three force member